for the six, everybody. Welcome to the channel. Go ahead and take some speed cola. Thank you very much. Because today we're talking about something low key I was right on. And it was a crazy far out guess, sort of, considering I thought, you know, maybe what we got in Vanguard was just, you know, a little Easter egg. But nah, I don't know if you guys have seen the Terminus ending cutscene and an Easter egg on Terminus that specifically points towards the Sentinel artifact taking ethereum crystal from black ops for zombies is chaos returning round one everybody here it is chaos right those were the maps and black ops for the new storyline disconnected and unconnected at the time from the ether storyline and i know we're in the dark ether now but you gotta understand the ether kind of exists within the dark ether universe so honestly i'm kind of hoping for a return of uh some of our most fan favorite characters that being the transit crew um, I doubt we get Primus or Ultimus, you know, that's a stretch. Kind of felt like they said their goodbyes. What an emotional goodbye. Y'all remember that Black Ops 3 video? But at the same time, the Chaos crew from Black Ops 4 is, is the type of people or story in this case that we never expected to come back. And I'm going to play you a clip actually right here of Dr. Croft talking about the Sentinel artifact in Vanguard Zombies. <laughs> save their lord from what they considered demonic possession. In fact, this man had bonded with Saraxis much the same way that you were gone. They arranged a visit to the swampy island where you find yourselves and ambushed him with a special relic. While the page gives specific instructions to the relic to sever the bond between a dark So yeah, pretty tight. And honestly, that was the first time after the chaos story had pretty much officially been like cut or ended that we've actually heard of something from that universe. And it makes you think. I think they're fully adapting that story into the mainline Dark Aether universe. The Sentinel artifact was used in Black Ops 4 Zombies as a way of, let's say, turning on the power. You would just go up to the Sentinel artifact, activate it, and uh... Pretty much that's it. Usually it would cause a cool animation to happen somewhere around the map. You know, I think on the uh, Titanic map, Voyage of Despair, it actually went shot up and like knocked over those like exhaust pipes on the top of the ship. I thought that was really cool, honestly. You know, turning on the power is also badass. Let's not forget that. I loved when you had a map like Maldor Toten, for example, that looks very different when the power is off to when it's turned on. I guess now in this case, similar to Terminus. But yes, an ancient relic that honestly was pretty badass. As you just heard, in Vanguard, it was mentioned. We thought it was just an Easter egg. That's it. Kind of giving, you know, closure to what that story was, where it may have taken place. We thought, oh, cool. It is kind of canon now to the Dark Aether storyline. But now we've gotten that completely confirmed. Round two, everybody. Here it is. Go ahead and take some stamina. Thank you very much. And an Ethereum crystal, too. I'm feeling good today. So, for this next round, I'm going to go ahead and have you guys watch the cutscene for yourself if you haven't already seen it. But if you have, this time try and pick out a few key details that you think I may have caught, and we'll talk about it after. Okay, Sam. Whatever your plan is for bringing back Maxis, it better be good. It is. I have scraped old Project Janus files classified director and I only. Richtofen is obsessed with an ancient relic called sentinel artifact. He believes it has the ability to manipulate a form of protomatter called Prima Materia. You can't be serious. The term comes straight from medieval alchemy. <laughs> Don't ask me to believe such horseshit. I am a man of science. And his director, Richtofen, Dr. Strauss. The artifact is believed to be somewhere in the principality of Avalon. Enjoy your revenge, young lady. 
I'm not chasing after an old wives. Oscar, we've all seen things that seemed impossible. And Richardson is no fool. If he and Sam believe that this artifact can actually bring her back, we have to try. We can't give up on her. She never gave up on us. She's right. Let's see for ourselves if this sentinel thing is the real deal. Agreed. But I still want to know where that bastard Bertoff is hiding. Unknown. He may be en route to Avalon to collect the artifact. Then let's find it before he does. Heads up, people! Helo's ready! But the storm's getting worse! We gotta go! Now! Wow. That was amazing. Taking a Ethereum crystal again, but look, this cutscene has sewn together all the story beats we've had literally in the past like four years. Even more than that with Black Ops 4. Ravenov was mentioned, Dr. Croft from Vanguard Zombies, and also the Sentinel Artifact from Black Ops 4. And apparently that's where we're going next to gather the Sentinel Artifact. We're gonna need that throughout Black Ops 6's story, which is insane. Seeing Rick Toffin in the future potentially interact with that artifact would be insane. I never thought that would be possible, but look at us now. I also love that Dr. Strauss made the comment about, oh, this is science. I don't believe in this, you know, almost witchcraft sort of deal. And I think that puts into perspective a lot of feelings that we've had in the zombies community. Maybe through Cold War, that things were a little too perfect, pristine. It was almost over-militarized. But now we're going back into that ethereal shit. Now these scientists are having to kind of, you know, let go of their studies for a little bit and get into the crazy reality that magic like this does in fact exist. And I think that's an awesome direction to take the story. Also, that musical motif. This one right here. That is a part of Rick Toffin and Samantha's theme. Unbelievable. We haven't heard that since Black Ops 3. We have not heard that music since Black Ops 3. Maybe Black Ops 4 in cutscenes, but still, that's incredible. That really, really makes it feel like they're hinting at something from that old Ether universe, dimensionally breaking and leaking into the Black Ops 6 Dark Ether storyline. Although, looking at that cutscene, I am interested a little bit in the fact that we may be going to Avalon. And then you look at multiplayer and we're like, oh, we're going to Avalon. And then you look at the campaign and what the story is going to continue like over the seasons of Black Ops 6. And you're like, we're going to Avalon. And I don't, you know, I've heard and we know that zombie maps are built from the ground up. In fact, we have this awesome image also during the cutscene that shows that maybe we're getting like a French inspired map. That would be insane. But I don't know how I feel about it taking place in Avalon. You know, if everything is going to be around based zombies that's built from the ground up, why would it be located there? Because, you know, if I'm not mistaken, I mean, let me know if you feel different. But by watching that cutscene, it feels like that's the next map. Honestly, I thought something like Egypt. And I still don't think that's out of the equation, actually, at all. <laughs> but yeah, I guess for this third map uh, at the end of this year, we could be going to Avalon. You know, but maybe they built the zombie map first and then built Avalon after it. I know that if you're playing the multiplayer map Skyline and you look in the distance, I believe that is Avalon. That brings me to round three. But look, even if the map this year, our third map, is going to take place on Avalon, I'm really not that worried about it because look, they handle it any way like they did Terminus. The atmosphere should be sick. And if you look at community reception, I had a poll. And the majority of my subscribers said they're really enjoying Black Ops 6, which is amazing, right? That's what we want. And it's happening. Guys, this year feels amazing. And I'd love to dive into those specific comments in a future video. So if I ever have questions like that on the community section of my channel, no odds are I'm going to try my absolute best to put the best comments in the video. And if you haven't already, check it out or beware the 6 Discord down in the description below. Guys, you're gonna love it. We have so many great Zombies fans in there that just like to get down to business. Guys, find some people to play with, have a good time. I love all the brand new creators that are popping up in the zombie sphere. I'm very proud to, I mean, be one of them, I guess. But, I mean, it's been a dream come true, guys. We are so close to 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. Let me know some challenges you guys want to see down below in the comments. You guys always know I love to continue the conversation. 
If you found anything I talked about today to be interesting, I'd love to talk about it with you too. You see, for most of us, Zombies isn't just a game mode. I'm sure we actually are online playing the game and thinking about it, watching videos, probably more than a religion, which is crazy, but in a good way, because we love it. It's the best thing out there, guys. Come on, it's a Black Ops 6 Zombies. Let's get hyped. Guys, I've been playing with my friends and we all love the game. There's no problems with it right now, really. You know, of course there's things you can want differently and that's fine, but guys, let's enjoy ourselves. It's a good year. I wanna thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.